guys and welcome back to my channel. I have been getting a lot of requests lately to do one of those budget with me videos. I have never done one of those and I don't keep the really decorated budget calendars like everyone else but I figured I could take a stab at it and in doing a budget with me I can show those who are trying to get into the habit of budgeting kind of like some of the basics of what you can do to just keep your money in check and know where all your income is going. For those of you that have been here for a while, you know that a majority of my income is inconsistent because I am an actor and a singer. So it depends on the month. If I've booked a lot of gigs or teaching, it will depend on how much I have coming in. But either way, I am not going to be putting my real income numbers, one, because they are never the same, because again, it's inconsistent income, and B, just because I feel like somebody's personal income is, like I said before, personal, and for that purpose, I'm just going to be putting down, oh, I am popular, and for that reason, I'm just going to be putting down fictional numbers in this budget with me. Also, I should say this is a very basic budget, so again, if you are new to tracking your finances, this should definitely help you. And there are really cute templates on Pinterest. If I have the time, I will link a Pinterest board down below in the description box of different really cute budgeting templates that you can use. But without any further ado, let's do budget with me for the month of September. All right, gonna start this off by just writing in the month that we are budgeting. And again, you're gonna see my real handwriting, which is not the best but it's okay. When budgeting, the first thing you should put in is your income. And if you are like the rest of working America, you should get paid bi-weekly, so twice a month minus those two awesome months that you get three paychecks. I can't speak and write. So income one and income two, and then if you have other streams, you can list them. And then you can write your total. And again, like I said before, my income is never consistent month per month, but to make it easy, let's just say that each paycheck is $1,000. And in this fictional world, that would include day job, music lessons, uh, Concerts or just speaking engagements? Concerts and speaking. We'll do the bracket for a total monthly income of $2,000. So once you have your income, the next thing I would recommend is tracking your fixed expenses. Fixed are ones that do not change. They will remain constant or fixed. They don't change month per month. So the first thing I'll write down is fixed expenses. First thing is my mortgage. Now my mortgage payment covers a lot of things. It's not just paying the mortgage. It includes obviously the mortgage, my home association fee, like I live in a condo, so people come by and they take care of my lawn, the pool, the tennis courts, and we pay them quite a bit of money. It also, covered in my mortgage is also my trash fee, my water, gas, taxes, and then insurance, slash escrow, gotta love that word. Whew. Total with all of those is equal to $1,000 a month. But yes, you won't see me listing like my water bill, my gas bill, insurance, because that is all intertwined in this number. Next on my fixed expenses is my electric bill is usually hovering right around the $50 mark. After that, I will write in, just for the purposes of this budget, health insurance, that's not an insurance covered in the mortgage. Health insurance. For me, that is covered in my day job income, so I'm gonna put a zero here, but I wanted to put it in this budget to give you an idea that this is a very important thing to have in your fixed expenses. 
boxes. After health insurance, I do have a gym membership. And that is $20 a month. My gym membership includes the gym 24 hours a day, and then they even have classes every day of the week, morning and evening classes. After gym, I have gas for my car. And I put in usually between 25 and 30 a week to commute to work, so 120 a month. And then this is where I kind of set myself apart. I put contributing to my savings account in my fixed expenses because to me that is very, very important. There's a saying, failing to plan is planning to fail. I plan on always putting a certain amount of money in my savings account and I put it in my fixed expenses so there is no circumstance in which I will not put at least a small amount of money away. So my total in fixed expenses and again, this is all hypothetical with hypothetical numbers. $1,490 in fixed expenses. Next, we're gonna track variable expenses, and they vary because they change. Getting too lazy to write expenses. First is my restaurant budget. $100 for the month. Then groceries, because I don't eat out at restaurants enough. I, I, <laughs> enough, because I don't eat out at restaurants a lot. I try to give myself a little bit more in the grocery budget, plus it makes me have to cook. And then any other unforeseen thing I have to buy, whether it be clothes, household, what have you, I try to stick it on my credit card, and then I will pay that off at the end of the month as well. Now, if you do charge your gym membership or your gas and you already put it in this expense, you can subtract it off the credit card if you've already budgeted for it and know that it is covered in your fixed expenses. All in all, that will make my variable expenses $350. Combining these together, my fixed and variable expenses leaves me with a total of $1,840. With an extra 160 for the month. In the event that September went completely as planned with no unforeseen circumstances and I was able to contribute the set amount I had to my savings, I would take this additional $160 and make an additional payment on my mortgage. If you are someone who is a new and first time homeowner like myself, I am just now learning the importance of taking your extra income and putting it towards an additional mortgage payment. I don't have any of those calculators that show you how early you can pay off your home by making extra payments, but I do know every extra payment is one more dollar going towards the principal of my mortgage and one less dollar going into the pockets of the banks and those collecting my interest. Anyway. This is a short and sweet budget with me. I hope you guys liked it. I really do wish I did one of those beautiful calendars that had when everything was due on it. But to be completely honest, a majority of my fixed expenses are on auto pay. My mortgage is on, my mortgage is on auto pay. My gym, my gas, my savings is even on auto pay. I have a certain amount of money coming out of my checkings to my savings every single Wednesday. I think the only thing on this fixed expense list I do pay is my electric and that comes in an email. So for me, it's not a millennial excuse or anything. I just don't keep one of those decorated calendars because I have everything online. It's all auto pay for my fixed expenses. That is for my variable expenses. I'm not going to draft out when I'm going to go use my restaurant budget or my groceries because I know I grocery shop once a week and maybe once a week as well, I will go out to eat. Sometimes this goes above 100. Clearly I have a tech rehearsal coming up or a tech week coming up for my show where I will have to probably eat out more than I would like. So this will probably go up as well as this. But this is a basic overlook of what I have to pay on a monthly basis. If you have any questions or are trying to get a simple budget put into play, leave me a comment down below. And again, if I have the time, I will put a Pinterest board in the description box that will show you how to throw your pen. It will show you how to budget in just simple templates that'll keep everything on track. 
If you're one of those people that doesn't like to budget, doesn't want to know where your money is going, I cannot stress at least trying one of the simple budgets out. It is a really freeing moment knowing where all your money is going. I'm sorry, I just hit the camera, but. That is it for my very first budget with me. If you have done these videos before and wanna leave me any constructive criticism down below in the comments, please feel free to do so. I don't know if I'll be doing these each month, but maybe every couple months as expenses change or you guys have any questions about budgeting and I can help you out by doing a video like this, I will do one of these in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're watching this unsubscribed, click that little red subscription button down below. It'll update you each and every time I upload a video in the future. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one.